Yo, this is Martin Contois, MC Starman um, from Duncan in beautiful British Columbia on Vancouver Island. We're going to do a post, uh, a video on um, a Grand Cross that's um, taking effect here on the 28th and the 29th of uh, October, kind of a Holly, Hall, Halloween Grand Cross. Um, and so, um, thanks for joining me, um, doing a little bit of a smudge here, um, what times we've been living through, huh? Uh, I hope you're well, and, um, please do subscribe to our channel. We're trying really hard to uh, put some good material to re to help you resource and find your clarity in these times. I have two charts I will be showing you today, the 28th and the 29th. So the moon um, triggers an important grand cross this week involving uh, the moon, the sun, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Pluto. Um, so I'll be, um, uh, for those who are interested in this material, I did a video earlier on the Saturn, uh, Uranus, um, um, cycle in our times. I'll put a link at the end of the video on that. And this is kind of a follow through on this. So uh, we have the waning square of the moon on the 28th. So tomorrow um, brings us the fourth quarter of the lunation. Um, it announces the um, new moon on the fourth coming up. And so this the, the last quarter of the moon, the fourth quarter of the moon is a time of ebb of energy. It's a time of reflection, rest, introversion, as we seek to resource ourselves for a new cycle of action. So um, this um, last quarter that's entering finds us kind of depleted and needing resourcing and finding energy. All this week, all this week leading to the new moon coming up next week, next Thursday, the sun uh, in Scorpio opposes Uranus and Taurus and also square Saturn and Aquarius forming a T-square that mirrors the tension that is both uncomfortable and familiar to us. We've been through um, two uh, exact squares of Uranus and Saturn this year so far, and the third one is coming um, at the end of December. And since uh, Saturn turned direct at the beginning uh, of the uh, about mid month, uh, just uh, recently, now both Saturn and Uranus, Uranus is moving retrograde and Saturn is moving uh, uh, direct. So now they're moving really fast, uh, rapidly towards their um, third exact square, which is coming at the end of um, this year and this at the end of December during the holiday season. Um, and that will kick in uh, 2022. Uh, um, and this influence of Saturn and Uranus still very much will be with us till uh, through 2022. So the waning fourth quarter moon on the 28th and the 29th forms this grand cross, which I will show you in a minute. Um, here we are. Why don't we start with that? Uh -huh. Boom. Okay, here we have the 28th So the new moon in Leo, I mean the, oops. Oh, why do we not do that? Well, all right, that's interesting. Okay, so the moon in um, Leo, you see the grand cross is starting to form. So the, the, the moon makes opposition to Saturn and to Pluto and also makes a square to Mars 
and the sun. And as we go along, it will make a square to Uranus. We'll see on the chart to the 29th that T square is full. So now here we are. The moon is at three degrees of Leo and the sun's at about five degrees. So in about three, four hours, six hours from this time, 7.30 in the morning, the square will be exact. So that's the fourth quarter, um, the second square, the waning, the waning square of the moon to the sun. So from our perspective, we see the moon in the morning and uh, we'll see it uh, uh, as the sun rises, we'll see the quarter moon up in the sky um, during the day um, in the morning. Uh, so it's the waning moon, and as it wanes more and more, we'll see the crescent moon early in the morning. And so that's a, a time of ebbing of energy. The energy uh, is uh, withdrawn within. It's kind of a gestation period. The new moon is a, it's the beginning of the new cycle. So all the energies for that new moon uh, kind of is drawn within as a gestation during the, th the fourth quarter of the lunation. So it's the last seven days. So we're a week away from the full moon, uh, from the new moon. And so um, this is the building of this grand cross we talked about. And here is the grand cross itself. Um, the 29th. So here is the grand cross itself. So we can see the grand cross. So we have the moon on the 10th house in Leo. Now it's past the sun, but it's still in square. So squaring the sun and squaring Uranus and then squaring Saturn and Jupiter. And so then we have that grand cross. So it's a big red square and it's got red lines in the middle. So this is this grand cross. So it's very important astrological time. Um, it helps us, uh, it, it forces us to, to integrate the lesson of the Saturn uh, Uranus cycle and also um, it, it triggers Pluto. And then as we see Mars and Mercury are all coming into Scorpio and they will also trigger that Saturn Uranus square that we're talking so much about. And then also we'll square Jupiter and Uranus. So all these planets that they move into Scorpio and the next new moon when the moon comes in then the moon will come in and conjunct the sun right over here and also will be in opposition to Uranus and in square to Saturn and Jupiter. So this, um, this is kind of a preview of things to come for us as we move forward into um, 2022. Um, we're gonna have a real big battle with the Saturn Uranus. And in my video on the Saturn Uranus cycle in our times, I go into a lot of details about the last two cycles of Saturn and Uranus and the energies that are at play, you know, Saturn over through Uranus in, in, in Greek mythology by castrating him. Uranus is the light bringer, uh, the god most uh, concerned with uh, bringing light to humanity, the Promethean urge to bring enlightenment. And uh, Saturn is uh, Kronos, the timekeeper, the conservative energies that want to keep things the way they are. And so Saturn's very strong. And so there's this, been this confrontation of Saturn and Uranus all year long. The first one was in March, the second one was in June, and the third one is in December and we'll have a fourth one at the end of 2022. So this has been a dominating alignment, this Saturn Uranus, and then it's being triggered by this um, last quarter moon and this new moon coming up. So wanted to share that with you today. Um, so um, 
what are the lessons that we can draw from here? And what, you know, how are you feeling this uh, personally in your life? Um, many important lessons and opportunities for us to reflect. Uh, um, they're being presented to us and it's important to take a step back and reassess what is truly important to us. Um, it's easy to become discouraged or overwhelmed with that much tension in the collective and especially in the light of all that's go is going on, not just with, with the virus, but also the economic situation and the psychophysical um, mm, difficulties that we're all going through. You know, this is a, a, um, an important time uh, of, of transformation and usually that's experienced as breakdowns uh, and then breakdowns lead to breakthroughs. It's one of my uh, favorite saying. So um, this process of renewal is kicking in um, and all that separates us from turning lead into gold. The alchemists, they had this, um, this metaphor of taking common matter and turning it into gold, lead into gold or spirit uh, or matter into spirit, you know? So this is the application of the alchemical process of transformation. It's what's so important these times. And so in that sense, Saturn can become a friend to establishing a good, strong practice in Uranus being the light bringer. And so these are the real um, meaning of our times. And, and it's important for us to focus on it on the times, on the collective psychosis being an opportunity for transformation. We've been doing a really cool video series on um, Luke and I on um, uh, the undiscovered self, an essay that Jung wrote about uh, this, uh, um, this transformation of the self that's occurring in our times, this uh, um, transformation of the archetypal dominance. Um, we are changing uh, so rapidly that it's hard for us to keep track of it. And we kind of focus and project our shadow on the outside. What we really is invited is to do the inner process and to focus on um, what is truly important to us. Um, that is the real meaning of our time. Uh, reach out if you um, want some support. That's what I offer. I offer dream analysis, astrological readings, and I combine the two to support you in your process of individuation in a very union matter. Um, I'm um, the student of the work of Carl Jung and an astrologer and a dream analyst. Uh, thanks for uh, supporting this channel. Uh, please do subscribe and uh, stay tuned. We'll keep it coming. This is MC Starman. Uh, be careful and be mindful this weekend um, and have a happy Hall Halloween. Mm, bye.